Hey everyone, so for today's video, first of all, I just wanted to apologize for my voice because I've been having flu and everything and I actually lose my voice for a couple of days. It's getting better, but it still sounds like this, so I apologize for that. And second of all, I am going to be doing an editorial series and today's video is going to be the first out of five editorial series looks that I am going to be doing. So I am planning to make um, one video of how I achieve the editorial strobe skin look, which is going to be in this video. And the next couple of videos is going to be on some editorial looks that I've been wanting to do. And yeah, uh, I, I just hope that you guys enjoy and I just hope that you guys, I just hope that you guys like supported me in that. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this first video and yeah, let's just get started. So first of all, I've mixed the Nature Public Aloe Vera Soothing Gel in here with the Nature Public Eliminating Glow Liquid in the color number one. I have the color number one, number two actually, but I decided to use the number one because it leaves a pearlish type of sheen. And why do I decide to mix these two is because I found that these two are not going to work on top of each other because it's go it's, it's going to leave your skin like um, a peely texture because of these two so yeah but then I tried mixing them together and it seemed to work so yeah and I'm just gonna put this all over the face why do I decided to put this on because it leaves an eliminating glow to your skin it leaves a very healthy glow and that's the glow that we want to achieve Okay, then once it seeps into the skin, the next thing that we're going to do is the foundation part. As for the foundation, I want to mix these two foundations. The first one is a Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum, the color number 55, Beige Adore, and the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2 in 1. Bleh. The Milani Conceal and Perfect 2 in 1 foundation, the color number 4, Medium Beige. Why do I mix these two together? Because it creates my perfect shade and the perfect texture for what I like, you know. I'm just gonna mix half a pump with this and half a pump with this one. Mixing it also with the aloe vera gel that we have earlier, along with the liquid glow, and just apply it onto the skin. Don't apply too much because we don't want a cakey, a visible foundation look. And then I grab the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and I just blend everything out. Look. I really like the mix of it because just look, it still leaves you a natural skin look but still glowy. So the next part is concealer. As for the concealer, I'm just going to take the leftover foundation and put it under my eyes. And if I need more of it, I'm just going to be taking a separate concealer and just tap tap that in. Not really highlighting because really highlighting concealer shape like the V the usual V shape it will create more of like an artificial highlight onto your face. I really like the mixture of these cocktails basically because it leaves your skin really glowy but not grease ball. You know using this cocktail makes your skin feels healthy and I just conceal the area wherever I needed it like beside my nose next to my lip just like that 
do not use a concealer that is way lighter than your skin tone because as I said it's going to make your face look more artificial you know okay so we're done with foundation and concealer the next thing that I want to take is this benefit high beam any liquid highlighter would do and I'm just going to be applying this onto the highlighted places such as the tops of my cheekbones my cupid's bow bridge of my nose almost ran out of it guys I love it so much and also don't forget tops and the bottoms of your brow it's really crucial why because the strobing look um, does not doesn't doesn't require any contouring you know the way that you highlighted your face like this is supposed to make natural contour then I'm just gonna blend it with the same brush and then to set everything I'm just gonna be taking a loose powder not with my regular brush though I'm just gonna be taking a blending brush like this fluffy blending brush dive it in into the loose powder tap the excess and just apply to the area where I tend to crease the most remember this look are not meant to last because it's very glowy especially if especially if you have a very oily skin it's just for the purpose of editorial you know? there you go so here's a strobing face look and by the way if you wanted to add more highlight you obviously can so that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to be taking the MAC Show Gold Extra Dimension Skin Finish. And by the way, I have a similar dupe to the Benefit High Beam, which is the Master Strobing Liquid by Maybelline. And I have the color number one. It's very similar, but this one is more mirror-like. And the Benefit High Beam is more natural. So yeah, let's highlight the face. I'm just taking it with the same blending brush and lightly highlight the points where we highlighted the Benefit High Beam. And also, I enhance this part of my nose like that part why? because it brings the face forward you know I, f I just feel like it did that it brings the face forward oh and don't forget to highlight the inner corner of your eye so I'm just going to take my pinky dab it in into the actual gold I just did that so I'm just going to be applying a light layer of the Dior lip glow which is my favorite and I'm just going to dab it in like that not necessarily dragging it but just dabbing it it creates a natural flushed look onto your lips oh and by the way if you wanted to if you wanted to apply blush it's best to apply a cream blush like this this is the cream blush that i have and it's very shimmery but it once it, it blends into your skin it looks very natural so yeah this is a strobing editorial face look i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i do making it and if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the thumbs up. If you guys don't enjoy it, click the thumbs up anyway. And subscribe to my channel and leave any comments down below of what look should I do next. Because the next episode on this series 
is going to be on an editorial look and it's going to come next week as usual my social medias are down below leave any comments down below of what look should i do next and yeah i'll see you guys on my next video then bye bye